Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. This is a patient who had a colonoscopy early today and came in tonight with abdominal pain. Cutting to the chase, here you can see a portable upright chest and we have a crescentic air lucency or just air lucency which appears to be projecting below the level of the right hemidiaphragm. This looks like the right hemidiaphragm. It's obscured by overlying stuff. Okay, so we're thinking then that could colonoscopy have produced a perforation of the colon? It's possible. It's not, un it's not common, but it is possible. Uh, another finding here, if you look closely, look over here. This is air lucency, but of course you expect to see the stomach bubble here. In this case, you see this curvilinear opacity, which I believe represents the wall of the stomach, the proximal body of the stomach and fundal area. And what we have here then is air in the stomach and air outside the stomach, defining the wall of the stomach. And when that occurs with any bowel, it is called Riegler's sign, R-I-G-L-E-R, apostrophe S, Riggler sign. So I suspect this is free air. I'm sure it is actually. And this looks like free air and if you had any doubt is this stomach or not, you see the wall of this bowel, in this case stomach, but this uh, hollow viscous has a wall defined on both sides. Ordinarily you don't see the wall of the bowel, whether it's stomach or large bowel or small bowel. So here you have this so-called Regular sign. I recommend you look that up. So then we look at the subsequent abdominal in image. This is a chest, so they subsequently got an abdominal image based on those findings. And here we can see what looks like air beneath the left hemidiaphragm. In this case, it's defining some other viscous, some other hollow viscous, maybe bowel of some sort. You can see both signs of the both sides of the wall there, which is Riggler's sign. And you have this area here. Now that looks like it's, here's all liver, so it's right near the porta hepatis, the region of the liver where the duodenum lives, for one, but in terms of colonoscopy, this is the area of the hepatic flexure. And if you look here, that is just not looking quite right in terms of this part of bowel here, this part of bowel which I believe is going to be the colon. Okay, so here you can see this margin and here we are defining both sides of colonic wall I believe because you have perforation of colon I believe and it is causing air to collect around the hepatic flexure, portions of which of course have become free intraperitoneal air, but there are also soft tissues adjacent to the colon itself, and I think some of the air is getting trapped in that. So here we have then an unusual finding uh, of this air which appears related to the wall or the soft tissues adjacent to the wall of the colon in the region of the hepatic flexure, and I would postulate that during colonoscopy for one reason or another the colon perforated and it might be because they saw a polyp there and tried to resect it and and did resect it and caused the perforation but along with that air in the immediate vicinity of the colon which itself looks abnormal that air that is looks quite abnormal we also have this free air beneath the right hemidiaphragm causing, as it often does, elevation of the right hemidiaphragm and, del and delineating very nicely the dome of the liver. And in the left, this very important finding, Riggler's sign, which is, in this case, defining both sides of the wall of the stomach. The interior of the stomach defining this side and the free interperitoneal air adjacent to the stomach defining this side. Regular sign free interperitoneal air.